Bamboo Lab H2C with the brand new Vortex system. This is Bamboo's first launch on the multi-material and now the race is on. Who do you think is going to win the next generation of 3D printers? Before we dive in on what this printer does, let's talk a little bit about what this actually means for 3D printing. When you are changing the tool, instead of changing the filament like what we had in the previous versions of the AMS, CFS, all these multicolor systems that we had, you don't have any purge because you change the tool and you don't need to change to purge the filament to change the color or the material that you're working with. And this is going to change a lot the way we 3D print because it's going to enable us not only to change colors really fast, but also to mix materials to make more combinations and more possibilities of things that we can print. The first difference that we can notice between the H2C and the U1 is that it only changes the nozzle, not the entire tool head, making it a bit more dynamic. And also in here, we have two sets of three nozzles, giving you the possibility to combine six different colors, six different types of materials, maybe this is going to be a slight advantage on Bamboo's side. I haven't got the opportunity to slice a file using this system, but what we can see from the demo here is that we have not only the 0.4 nozzle, but also different nozzle diameters to achieve different results. What are the applications? What are the results? We still have to see what we will be able to make with these. The type of the nozzle also seems a little bit different from what we have on the H2D. It seems to be a specific vortex type of nozzle, it's a different build. So it seems that you cannot just use your regular H2D nozzles on the new Vortex system. From what I can see here, probably you have to buy the Vortex set of nozzles, which is slightly different. So when we think about the Snapmaker versus the H2C with the Vortex system, what we have in here is the AMS2 with the four colors, or perhaps you can add more, I don't know yet, but you still have to change the color that is gonna go through the printer and then combine that with a different nozzle. So it's different. It's not like you have four colors or four materials preloaded and then you just change the tool. You will still have to load the filament onto the tool and then extrude it. So, so this changes a little bit, the change of color, the change of tool. We have yet to see how fast this actually will be and if it's going to be faster than the Snapmaker. So now all our answers are gonna be answered because we're gonna watch the live stream and see what this printer really does. So this is the AMS hub and you can plug up to four AMSs in here. So if you want to use up to seven colors, you can do it using two AMSs. But if you want to use, I don't know, 16 colors, then you can still do it. You can still have it very optimized. It's going to need to purge because you will have to change colors since you can only use seven colors without purge. But yeah, you can connect both, use with seven colors, no purge at all. Uh, just a color change, which takes a little bit of time, but way less time than what we use to these days. This is just the first chapter on these new generation printers. I wouldn't bet on any of them yet. I would still wait a little bit to see which one would be the one that is going to dominate regardless of what you do. Next year, you will want to update your printer on one of these, either the Snapmaker, either the Bamboo, either another multi-material printer that might be coming next year. All right, so we just got off the live stream. We saw the unboxing in real time and I swear it took it less than 30 minutes. So it's super easy to assemble, a little bit less tricky than what we had at the Snapmaker. And what we saw is that Bamboo is giving a slightly different approach. First, it has six colors instead of four. So you have more possibilities than the four that we have at the Snapmaker, but they went on to a more premium, a more pro solution where the Snapmaker maker is a little bit more compact. You put the four spools on the side, on the bamboo. You still have to use the AMS too. And if you want to use the TPU, you can also use it directly, kind of like what you have to do on the H2D. But you do use the AMS together with the Vortex system. So the, the AMS pushes the filament and the tool head picks the hot end with the right color and then starts printing. Because according to bamboo and the theory that they explained in the video, at the tool head is where the color mixes happen. So by printing, by using this technique, you don't have the color bleeding and you can still achieve the multiple colors. We're not gonna have the flush anymore, but we, but we will still have the purge tower because the purge tower, uh, less than avoiding mixture in colors, it's what stabilizes the extrusion before going on to extrude at the model that you were printing. So yes, we are in the verge of a revolution. We are in the verge of something incredibly new that is gonna change the way we print. And I'm excited to see this competition unfolds next year. I'm pretty sure we are going to see exciting times, exciting new prints coming out. And for us makers, it's all the best because we have more possibilities. And if you like this video and you wanna see more contents like this, don't forget to follow STL Freaks here on YouTube and don't forget to like this video as well. See you in the next time.